Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, Brock wrote a blog about just checking your disc health out there. That's kind of got all the useful information to let you know, I mean, if it's a physical drive, whether the temperature, if it's healthy, or if it has problems that are on its way. Uh, if it's a virtual desktop, it's obviously not going to give you the temperature because it's just a partition section of that, or provisioned, I believe, is the, the VMware term for that. I don't know, that's not my, my specialty. But uh, the blog is up here, it's probably behind me on, on this video. But I recommend you read through it if you just want like deep dive into it. But if you're just here for the PowerShell, I can help you out with that. Uh, the script is just this here. I just, I just named it Disk Health, but you can copy it off of his blog there if you're, if you're looking for it, and then just add this. And it's basically two commands. It's the git physical disk, which we'll run just that one just so you can see the results for that. <clears throat> Take a bit to come back there. And this is going to give you the healthy status, operational status, just some information, but it's not going to let you know the temperature. The one that gives you the temperature is the git storage re reliability counter. So, uh, so what this one does is it's going to get the physical disk. It's going to find every disk for that machine. Then it's going to go through each one. It's also going to grab the uh, reliability counter for each hard drive, and it's going to put that into a nice table. Uh, the reason he has the PS custom object where he's putting it in a nice format like this is if you create this into a PowerShell scanner, you can just deploy it against all your machines against a single one. So first we'll just test it against uh, this one, one machine so we can see what the results look like. You can see that everything is grabbing friendly name, the media type, if it's healthy or not. Uh, which is great for your single machine, but we're going to use inventory. We're going to say how you can test your entire environment. So we're going to go uh, scan profiles. We're just going to build a new scanner. New scanner PowerShell. Um, we'll say disk health. And the PS1 file, I saved it on the desktop, which I don't recommend. Have it in a file share, but you know I'm not about best practices. I'm about uh, doing what it gets done quickly, I guess. So I, the, the overall point, I guess, is do better best practices than this video is showcasing. So disk health and open that up. And that's everything in there. Just hit OK. We have to give it a name again, just because this one is the actual scan profile, where you can set it to run on a schedule if you don't want it to do it manually. We'll run that one. Click OK. And then we can just come into all computers and scan all of those with our new scanner. So scan collection with disk health. Give that just a few seconds to run. Uh, this is just, like I said, if you're, you have a lot of virtual computers, you, the temperature matters less. You might be able to just go with the git hard disk uh, command. But if you have more physical machines, this is definitely worth looking into. All right, so now we have a couple of these finished running. We'll open up, we'll say Daffy Duck here. Go to the PowerShell scanners field. Or uh, menu there, disk health, and you can see we have this here. It's got a single disk, it's SSD, and it's healthy, which is good. And once again, the temperature is only going to pop up on the physical machine, and everything in our lab is going to be a virtual machine. So that's hopefully everything you need to get running to go and check out, make sure your hard drives you don't have any near failure. Uh, if you have any other questions, just read through Brock's blog. He goes into great detail on that. Uh, for PTQ.com, I'm Gordon.